today I'm super excited to make this video because I'm actually doing my house tour part two. So let's go explore my house. So my house tour part one, I showed you my kitchen, my living room, like the most important things. But now we're going to go show you the small things like the bathrooms and all the bedrooms and things like that. So right next to a closet are some cute little pictures of us when we were little. This is Laura and this is me. And then on the other side, we have a closet. This closet is where we keep our medicine and band-aids and party food and things like that. So, it's kind of messy. And then we keep going down the hallway and you see this. This closet, we keep birthday presents and Christmas presents that we need to hide. And we also keep our ice pops and Easter candy and things like that. So it's basically a good pre a good closet for the kids. And then here's our laundry room. So we just have our washer and dryer as usual. And I'm actually in charge of laundry day, so I do everybody's laundry. I actually don't think it's that bad. I think it's kind of fun. When we walk down the hallway right here, there's a bunch of pictures of our childhood when of ones of Lily and Matthew and Laura. I don't think I'm on here. I probably wasn't born then. Oh wait, that's me. <laughs> this is our bathroom. This is actually my favorite bathroom because of all the pretty colors and I love the green. My mom actually painted the walls. They used to be red, but that just wasn't that pretty. I think this was a prettier color. And my sister painted this. I'm gonna go show you my little brother's room. Come on. This is my baby brother's room. I love this here because it's so bright and it's so pretty and I love it. But anyway, so this is the bunk bed for gifts people. And this is my little brother's crib. And there's another door that goes out through another hallway that I'm gonna show you later in the video. This bookshelf has so many books on it. It has a lot of books. And we have other bookshelves with like probably more than this because our family likes to read books. And my oldest brother, Matthew, which is, sleeps upstairs, he could read like two chapter books in a whole day if he wanted, because he can read really fast. He's like, I just, I just, I just. done! I don't think it's fair. My two-year-old brother gets his own room, and he has his own TV. This, right next to my brother's room, is a closet for sheets and towels. And then right next to it is a door that goes into my room. I'm not gonna show you all of the details in my room because that is in a different video that you can go look at right after this. I love my room because it's so pink. <laughs> and this is the door to my bathroom. It's kind of our own bathroom except that it has a door to the other side. You'll see this bathroom in my morning routine and my nighttime routine that you can go look at right after this as well. So let's go out. There's another hallway when you come out of my bathroom. So in here is bedroom number three, my mom's bedroom. I love my parents' bedroom. I mostly love it because the walls are like the bluey kind of thing and the bed is so comfortable. It is super squishy and the blankets make it so warm and the fan makes it so cold at the same time. I love it. So we have a lot of paintings in my mom and dad's room. My mom painted this one with some newspaper and paint and my sister painted this one. It actually teaches you how to make these in one of my videos with help in it. And so after this, go watch it because it's really good. <laughs> and my dad painted this one, which is a buff bed, and I love And he also painted that one. That was probably my favorite one. My parents, for decorations, they have this huge cupboard thingies. <laughs> and they hold a bunch of antiques because they love antiques. And they're all up there and down here, and aces and dolphins and things like that. And then right in the middle of all that, there is a TV. This is kind of funny because my five-year-old brother still sleeps in here. So I would assume it's oh. kind of like room four, but it's in the same room as, as the third one. He's got all of these shelves to keep his toys on, and of course there's books on them. And down here are his books. It's 
the cat hat, train book. This opens up to the attic and it goes upstairs. Now we're gonna go out and go into the other hallway. This door behind this painting is the door that goes into my two-year-old brother's room, remember? And this painting is everybody in the house's hands. And so now we're back no, to where we started. Ma. Ma. Here is my dad's office. My dad teaches a little college class right here. And so they all sit on these couches. And then of course he has a huge line of shelves and they all have books on them. And antiques and things like that. And then over here, he has a chessboard, which is like really big. He also has his own sink because he likes to cook his coffee in here. He has a little desk where he keeps his computer and things like that. And he's got one of those office chairs that spins. There's a little slidey door into an art deck. Even though he's a lawyer, he still likes to paint. Now it's time to go out of my dad's office and go see bedroom number four and five. So to get to those bedrooms, four and five, we need to go back to the kitchen and go right upstairs. See? At the top of the stairs, first you see this door before this one. They have their own bathroom. And I think this bathroom is really pretty. I love the shower because it's got two doors. This side and this side. And in here, it's just a storage room where you keep things like soap and things. <laughs> and through this door is bedroom number four. This is probably the coolest bedroom. He has his own arcade games. This one is called Double Shot. And under he has some spare mattresses for sleepovers. Right next to Matthew's Double Shot game oh. is Ping Pong Table. I think I love ping pong even though I'm really bad at it. <laughs> and this part of the room is probably one of my favorite parts of the room because it's just an open space with a carpet because there I can do all my tricks. Over here is his bed area. He has one closet. And when you go in it, come out the other side. Magic. <laughs> And over here is obviously he's gonna have a bed. So here's his bed. Since he's a teenager, he didn't bother to make it. Here is kind of like a stage. He's got a little sitting area. And then he has a little table so he can eat pizza or ice cream up here. And of course, every sitting area needs to have his own TV. And then he's got all of his movies. This is where he keeps things that he collects. He collects Rubik's Cubes. Like, look at this one. And he collects cards. So he has cards in there. And he's got magazines and, of course, books. And then over here is her bed, which is also super comfortable, but not as comfortable as my mom's. <laughs> and she has her own dresser. And it's got makeup and perfume and things like that. And over here, oh look, she has a little schedule thing. She says, wake up, breakfast, school, zoning. Right here she keeps her computer charger and her phone charger. And in here is the closet. She hangs up all of her pants up here and all of her dresses and sweaters. And then down here are her shirts. And then these are night clothes and shorts. Bows. A lot and a lot of bows. And she even has more in other drawers because she can't fit them all here. And then she's got more bows right here. And then here she has scrunchies, which are kind of like bows, but you don't they don't have a clip. And then she's got socks and underwear. And then at the bottom she has shoes. So that was part two of my house tour. I really hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. And if you want to see my next house tour, it's gonna to be part three. And it's gonna be all outside because we have five acres. And then there's gonna be part four which is going to be the apartment, which is kind of like an extra house, a clip smaller.